Welcome to day one of my six week 30 workout lift dumbbell series. This program is designed to build muscle, develop strength and improve your mobility. Download your free program guide in the description of this video and let's get started with that first workout. Today, I'm gonna to take you through a 30 minute upper body dumbbell workout. You can do this with or without a bench. I'll show you options for both. We're gonna kick things off with a very brief body weight warm up. Then we'll get into the main strength supersets with the dumbbells. So we've got five exercises for this warm up. We're gonna do two rounds. 30 seconds of each exercise. You don't need any equipment. We're just gonna use our body weight. Let's get started off with some arm circles. We're gonna do 15 seconds forward, 15 seconds back. Let's go. So just getting the blood flowing around the joints, warm the muscles up, preparing us for this upper body workout. Try and get as big a range as you can with those circles and take it in reverse. Next up, we're gonna do some internal and external rotation. So you're gonna externally rotate, internally rotate. Imagine you've got a broomstick coming through one elbow, through your body and out the other, and you're gonna pivot on that axis. Good for just warming the shoulders up stretching them out a little bit. Nice and simple, we're gonna go up, down. So one arm's gonna go into extension, stretching the front of the shoulder, while the other one reaches overhead, stretching out these lats. I'm gonna hit the whole upper body today, shoulders, chest, bicep, tricep, and we'll save the abs for a later workout in this series. Lying on the floor now. You're gonna do some overhead reaches. Try not to overarch your lower back. You wanna use your upper back posture muscles for this. Next, you're gonna do some extensions. Turning your palms towards the ceiling, pulling your hands as high as you can, feeling that little stretch on the front of your shoulder. We're gonna do two rounds of this. So once you're finished with this set, straight back to your feet, and we're gonna do those front to back circles. onto the feet, let's get those arms moving early. Don't worry if you're slightly behind me. We've got two rounds, so you can catch up on this one. And take it in reverse. I've got two main sections after this, one heavy dumbbell and one lighter dumbbell section into those internal, external rotations. Just use whatever dumbbell selection you've got though. Feeling the shoulders getting a little warm now, especially with these rotations. One down, one little anterior shoulder stretch as we kick back, and one lat stretch. It's always good to do dynamic stretches before a workout. That means we're not holding any stretch for a long time. They're great, but we'll save them for after the workout or on separate days. All right, onto your front, you've got those prone overhead reaches, making sure you're facing the floor. Keep your hands as high as you can away from the floor. 
without turning it into a lower back extension. If you want to rest your forehead on the floor, it'll help isolate your upper back. Hands by your side, palms facing the ceiling, into those shoulder extensions, keeping straight arms. Imagine you're gonna tap your hands on the ceiling. strength section I'm going to be using some 17 and a half kilo dumbbells that's about 38 pounds each I'm going to be doing 30 seconds on 20 seconds off for five exercises and we're going to repeat that for three rounds we're going to start things off with a dumbbell overhead press let's go pressing up to the top Smooth tempo on the way down, a little faster on the way up. Make sure your glutes are tucked under, ribs tucked down slightly. You don't want to be overarching the lower back. Just bring them down, maybe in line with the bottom of your ears, and then press back to the top. Next up, we've got a single arm row, which you can do with a bench, or you can do it resting on a dumbbell or even resting on your knee. We're gonna do 30 seconds. There'll be a quick transition in between arms though. So you're gonna row up towards your pocket. Working those back muscles. Big mistake I see with this is that people will pull up in a straight line. That's okay, but we can get the back muscles working better if we row back towards the hips slightly, as well as pulling up. Let's have a short transition to the other side. Get yourself ready to go. And let's go. Nice flat back for this. Lead the row with the elbow. So imagine you're pulling up with the elbow rather than pulling with the hand so much. Okay, next up. If you haven't got a bench, you're gonna do a floor press. And if you have, you can do just a regular dumbbell bench press instead. Press into the top, controlling the lowering phase, and then press back up. If you're on the floor, as soon as your elbows make contact, press back up. Obviously, if you're on the bench, you can go a little bit deeper and get a bit more stretch to the chest. Great job. And then we've got a pullover. Again, if you're on a bench, stay on the bench. If you're on the floor, if you've got cushions, you could prop yourself up with a few cushions. I'll show you without though. Then we're gonna do a pullover. So reach the dumbbell overhead, and then pull back until you're just over your neck, and then repeat. You wanna keep a consistent elbow angle throughout the whole movement. So it should just be a small bend in the elbow. You're reaching nice and big overhead, feeling those lats stretch out. 
always finish your rep. We've got a short break now. And we're gonna go back to that shoulder press. So there's round one of three done. If it's too easy, go up a weight. If it was too hard, go down a weight. Get yourself ready to go for round two. That standing shoulder press. You find that your shoulder press is a lot weaker than your other movements. You could push press this exercise, which just means bending your legs, giving it a little help. I've tried to create workouts where you'd use a similar way for all the exercises. Great job. Watch those single arm rows. Whether you're doing it one hand on your knee, one hand on a dumbbell if you've got these hexagonal ones, or even one knee on a bench. I prefer a slight staggered stance, but if you prefer feet parallel to one another, that's fine as well. It's more down to preference, whatever feels most comfortable and whatever helps you to focus on the row. Get ready for the other side. onto the floor press or bench press. Staying on the floor or bench. Like I said, if you've got something to prop you back up, if you're on the floor, you might be able to get a slightly bigger range of motion. If you're on the bench, you'll be fine. We've got those pullovers. Remember, we're keeping a consistent elbow angle throughout the whole movement. It's okay for your back to be slightly arched, but make sure you're not pushing into too much of an exaggerated arch. And keep your glutes on the bench or floor. Well done. There's two down. Got one to go. Back to that shoulder press for the final time. After this, we're gonna switch it up and isolate the shoulders and arms a little bit more. Woo! <laughs> 
Definitely getting harder now. Just about made it. Okay, on to that. A single arm bro. trying to pull just outside of my pocket to give me a little bit extra range of motion. So rather than pulling underneath like this, I'm trying to pull out slightly wider than my body. Okay, we're on to that floor press or bench press. Make sure you're squeezing your chest together as you press. Imagine you're pulling your shoulder blades back down towards your back pockets, engaging the lats for stability as we squeeze the chest up. Okay, on to final exercise in this section. We've got those pullovers. And then after this, we're gonna to move to five new exercises, hopefully using lighter dumbbells if you've got some. Let's go. I'm gonna be going down using some seven kilo dumbbells. It's about 15 pounds per dumbbell for the next section. We're gonna keep the same format doing Three rounds, 30 on, 20 off. You'll have a brief break after this. All right, so move yourself down to those lighter dumbbells, grab a drink and get ready to go. If you're enjoying this, but you fancy following more of a set and reps plan, check out my 12 week dumbbell plan ebook linked in the description below. It's a great periodized plan. Maybe you'll do it after this 30 day series as a continuation. Maybe you wanna do it alongside the follow along YouTube workouts, but it's something to give a bit of structure to your training. Let's start off with a dumbbell L raise. So one arm's gonna do a front raise while the other one does a lateral raise. And you're gonna alternate sides. I like to try and not touch my body with the dumbbells. You know, I have to just hover around slightly on the transitions. That helps maintain that time under tension. Your arms should be relatively straight, but you can just unlock the elbows and then keep that unlocked elbow position fixed. All right, onto a tricep exercise next. I'm going to do a double dumbbell behind head tricep extension. If you haven't got the hexagonal dumbbells, you could take one of your heavier dumbbells instead of using the doubles. These jam together really nicely for this. If you've got a heavier single one you'd like to use, feel free to use that. So we're going to try and keep the elbows tucked in nice and tight. I'm trying to keep 
the dumbbells jammed together. Like I said, if you've got a heavier single one you want to use instead, that's fine, or even a kettlebell. I'll show you from the back. So we're going nice and deep, I'm actually touching my back with the dumbbells, and then extend it up towards the top. Great job. Let's hit the biceps next. I'm going to do one I don't see very often, but it's a really good one for the drag curl. It's a great one if you're using slightly lighter weights as well. We're going to have the dumbbells traveling almost in a straight line up to the top as if you're on a Smith machine. So you're going to squeeze up and then slowly lower down straight back to the next rep. So we're going to hold for one to two counts at the top while you squeeze your biceps as hard as you can. That top position, your forearms should be parallel to the floor. Elbows should be back behind your body. You're gonna minimize any shrugging of the shoulders and obviously maximize the squeeze of that bicep. Next, you're onto the floor. Going back to those triceps. Super setting nicely between the two, getting the arms pumped up. We're gonna do an ISO hold. That's a static hold, isometric hold, down near the temples. And we're gonna go alternating extensions. So I'm hovering the dumbbells next to my temple on either side. And you're gonna alternate these single arm Skull crusher tricep extensions. If you want to make it harder, just open those armpits slightly. Great job with that. Next up, we're going to do a reverse curl. This is a weak one for a lot of people. A lot of people don't work the extensors, these forearm muscles on the back. It's going to hit your bicep as well that outer head of the bicep. So we're gonna curl up, but turn the palms down. Let's try not to chicken wing those elbows out. We wanna keep them locked in nice and tight. I'm going back to a neutral grip at my sides, but I'm gonna lock the elbows in, turn the palms. I'm not going fully flat, maybe creating a 90 degree angle between the dumbbells but I am turning my palms predominantly down at the top. Great job, let's let the forearms relax a bit. As well as my dumbbell ebook, I've also got some nutrition plans to complement whatever goals you have. I've got a lean body plan designed towards fat loss and muscle maintenance. And I've got a lean muscle plan designed towards gaining muscle with minimal fat gain. Again, they're linked in the description below, all designed by me. Let's go. L raise. head price of extension it's a nice little section for feeling the arms pumping up we're gonna try not to overarch the lower back uh, you might find using a slight split stance like me more comfortable you don't have to, your feet can be together. As long as you're not overarching your lower back too much. Try not to flare those elbows, I know it's tempting. Great job, we've got those drag curls next. So remember you're traveling up, squeezing, finishing with a horizontal forearm at the top and the elbow should be tucked back behind the body. That's what makes it a drag curl rather than a bicep curl. 
So dumbbells come up, elbows back, squeeze, and then slowly lower. Squeeze, we're gonna be holding at the top. We're gonna lower with control. We're not gonna spend very much time at the bottom. We wanna maintain time under tension during these intervals. Onto the mat, we've got those isometric alternating skull crushes. So you're gonna hold that isometric hold. So if you lower down till the dumbbells are just next to your temples, hovering off the floor, and let's go with these alternating extensions. Again, elbows will be tempted to flare out. So we're gonna try and keep them tucked in. As you get tired, you'll probably notice your elbows drifting down towards your sides. So try and keep at least a 90 degree angle between the back of your tricep and your torso. Okay, we've got those reverse curls next. So again, Staying on theme, tucked elbows are the key to doing these neatly. Slight pronation of the hands. Notice I'm trying to squeeze at the top. With all these, we're trying to consciously work the muscle. We're not just thinking about reps or time. We're trying to think about contractions. Okay, we've got one more round, and that's it for day one. If you find that it's just a little bit easy, why don't you bump it up one weight? If you find your technique's getting a little bit sloppy, then just go down. It's better that you keep it strict, looking good, working the right muscles, keeping your joints healthy, than just pushing through with messy technique. We're gonna go those L raises, hitting the front and lateral shoulders. Just about the right way on that one. Got the behind head tricep extensions coming up. Nice deep drop behind your head. Get that full stretch on the tricep. You'll feel these tomorrow if you're giving it that full stretch. Great job, we've got those drag curls. Keep it nice and neat, squeeze hard at the top. Elbows back, forearms parallel to the floor. No resting at the bottom. I'm gonna speed the reps up slightly, so I'm still controlling the way down. I'm just gonna get a few more reps done within the interval. We're still coming quick up from the bottom, controlling the way down. Let's pull those elbows back a bit, it'll make it a little bit more challenging. The closer the dumbbells are to your center line. All right, we've got those ISO hold alternating 
extensions. I think I need to come up with a catchier name for that. Let's come down to that halfway point. Keep that armpit angle open. Let's go for those alternating extensions. Try not to sink lower than your temples with the dumbbells. You're holding that isometric hold just below halfway. <laughs> On to the final one. Well done if you made it this far. Look forward to having you join me, hopefully, on the whole six week 30 workout series. Reverse curl. You're gonna be following the split routine where you're not repeating muscle groups too much on consecutive days. So it's a smart program designed to get you in great shape in a time efficient way. Squeeze hard. Great job. Well done on completing day one of this six week 30 workout series. Make sure you check out day two, which I'll link here. And if you wanna check out that dumbbell ebook plan that I was talking about, I'll link a short video here telling you more about it. Let me know in the comments below, how did you find this workout? Are you planning on completing the whole dumbbell series? And where in the world are you commenting from? I really do love to hear that. Hit the thumbs up button, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos and see you again soon for day two.